Little, little, What's good, YouTube? My name is Tottery, your local art dealer, and I'm really excited for this video today. This video is inspired by Ten Hundred here on YouTube. He's a super dope artist. You guys should definitely check him out. But there's one video in particular that I thought was so cool, and um, it's a website that he used uh, called the Random Creature Generator. I'm not sure what the name of the website, but I'll link it down below. But basically, it gives you this random creature, and then you draw. You can try your best to draw it. I love getting prompts like that where you have everything in your feet like that and I'm really excited to start it today. So I'm going to bust out my iPad and draw it on there and um, stay tuned. We'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I have the website loaded up on my tablet now, my iPad, and I'm just going to hit generate and see what happens. Alright, so the creature's name is Kime or Keem. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's spelled like meme or memes. <laughs> All right, so basically it's a familiar Tory creature with a T-Rex head covered with spikes. It has a thick torso and two medium length tentacle arms and a three toe hooves. This, okay. It has a lower body stegosaurus, a rattlesnake tail, four medium length hippo legs, and large paws. Bro, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the king's body is covered in thick wool while his front is covered in a thin skin beneath very thin mucus. It is completely dark green. I'm guessing the mucus is dark green. All right, well, we'll figure something out. When it comes to digitally inking, one of my weapons of choice is definitely the studio pen. I have a long history of using a lot of brush pens in the past, whether it's Copic or I cannot think of that other huge brand name right now. Oh, Prismacolor, duh. And um, so it wasn't that much of a learning curve because I already have a lot of muscle memory when it comes to pressure changes and line variation. So um, it was a really good fit for me. I love brush pens a lot. So so doing inking this one was really, really fun, really dope. Um, that's me. Uh, Doing the uh, suction cups, aka little octopus nips, some good old water puppy toes, <laughs> aka the uh, hippo. Uh, you know, this it was really fun doing a stack of story spikes, kind of making it look like it's fading into the background right there. And uh, for the color palette, I kind of went with Yoshi. You can't be with, can't beat that. You know, some good old green with the long tongue. Um. Yeah, this this one's a lot of fun, a lot of fun to ink, a lot of fun to draw and paint. So, um, yeah, this is how it came out. For this next creature, we got the Lebiong, Lebiong, a familiar quadruped with a giraffe head covered with the spines. It has a body of a reptile, hummingbird wings, a canine tail. Four stubby giraffe legs and three toe hooves. His body is covered in long fur. Most of his, most of his body is beige, while the rest of his body is brown. All right. All right. So here for the giraffe head, uh, his head had long hair, so I gave him a sweet mullet. I think it's funny as hell how all giraffes look sleepy all the time. They look so done. So uh, I decided to give him his like give him his uh, cross his arms right there, you know. Give him a sweet little mane and a go to retriever tail, basically. Got his legs crossed back there. Give him some sweet wings. And that's, that's basically it for this one. Uh, next, I'm going to add some color to it. The colors were pretty simple, too, since it was mainly brown and beige, which, you know, most giraffes are. And uh, it doesn't have reptile body, so I kind of gave it a little some scaling on the stomach area, the belly, and the neck. And then when I, I went ahead and um, colored in his sweet mullet and then added a little background, made it sparkle, add some shine to that hair, and that's uh, the LeBiong. 
I definitely saved the best for last. It is a uh, land creature with a shark head. It has a broad torso, albatross wings. I had to search that. I had no idea what that was. Two medium length, large arms that end in long finger hands. It has the lower body of a boar, uh, medium length chimpanzee legs, and web feet. The must news body is covered in thick, rubbery skin while his arms are covered in thin chitin. What? I'm just when I re rereading this, and I forgot I did not add that. <laughs> it is completely vivid green. I did not add the chitlins or chitins or whatever, whatever that word is, but totally forgot to add that. But it's whatever. I love how it came out. I gave him those big ass buff SpongeBob arms with that, you know. Definitely some nautical themes going on. Um, some fun facts about this bad boy. Let me read it. Uh, it's only 17 inches tall. That's a damn lie. Not the way I drew it. Um, his life span is 34. Uh, they reach maturity at 9 years old. They can, start, they can start breeding at 9 years old. One egg every 11 months. There's a bunch of them. Many. Temperament disdainful. And their diet is uh, microorganisms. Well, I totally forgot that part because I added a bunch of blood to his face. So I'm pretty sure he eats more than that. Because that bad boy got... Some, a lot of blood on his face. Um, it's known for it for attempting to mate with other species. Oh, he don't give a damn. <laughs> if you see somebody he want, he get him. Um, normally lives in small family groups led by males. The males take care of the majority of the child rearing. Tenish tongue. They can run at full speed without tiring for over ten minutes and are active mostly during the night. They communicate using chirps. <laughs> They have extremely high levels of endurance. They have an affinity for shiny objects. I thought it'd be funny to add uh, regular old dude arms with long fingers, you know. Um, and that's the Moose New in all its glory. That's nightmare feel right there. All right, so that was today's video. I had a lot of fun drawing these weird ass characters. Please follow me on Instagram at your local art dealer. Um, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.